Hello everyone. <clears throat> so today I will, well this will be a little bit chatty and then I will also get ready for a walk in the forest. Yes, yeah, so today I have a little dress on, velvet dress, just like these arms thingies, red stockings to go with that. And then I need to comb my hair. And the only thing I have done is I put some <coughs> moisturizing cream on my face just because I've taken a shower and when I come out of the shower my face is really dry. And that like always happens and so that was why I needed to do that. Brushing time. Whenever I uh, brush my hair, uh, I always brush from the tips, or I always divide it in two, like here, because then it's easier to tangle or detangle. And, and then I start with the tips and move my way upwards. And especially when it's wet. I am more careful than ever not to like be too tough on it because your hair when it's wet it gets more elastic and then it could what is it called uh, break easily yeah uh, it breaks more easy good so now that's done um what well, hairs like that happens um then it's actually been a long time since i've worn any makeup and as you know i've just been sick once again and last time i was sick was in june <clears throat> and i'm like fine now almost over it unfortunately my partner got sick as well uh, so Mikkel is actually still sick, not just a little bit. I think it will be like a few more days and then Mikkel is over that as well. But luckily we don't have Corona, so that's out of the game there. We are safe on that. Um, and it wasn't like too serious, it was just like... When you're sick, you're sick and you just want to stay in bed. That's how it was. Really? Um, but... Um... Well, I, just to get about it, I, or get into it, I have some troubles uh, with uh, some mental troubles, or what you can say. Um, so I am getting help and I have been that for like two years now, soon-ish. Um, or actually, yeah, two years, actually, whoa, time flies. Um, <coughs> But sometimes I have bad days and sometimes I have good days. And then I got a job in February, so that was a lot of good things and good days. Um, but I have been pushing myself a little bit too hard. And when that happens, I get sick. And that also always happened in middle school and um, on also in the university. Um, whenever I push myself too hard, like... Uh, just when the exams are happening, I get really sick. Or sometimes I get sick before, sometimes in between the exams, and sometimes I am sick for three weeks after the exams. Um, so whenever I qu quit the university, um, I stopped getting sick because I didn't have that pressure on me anymore. Um, I didn't overdo it because finally I relaxed. But now it happens again. And as I said, I have some mentally troubles, mental troubles, what you say, um, with some sort of stress disorder, anxiety and stress, especially. And I will not be talking fully more about it just now, but sometime I will when I get more onto it. Um, but as it is now, I'm not totally ready, but I am ready to like getting it out there. Um, 
So now I just need to be better at taking care of myself, be better at remember what my assignments are at work um, so that I don't overdo it, especially now that winter comes because then I will you everybody knows about the winter depression and in Denmark it gets really really dark in the winter time like oh most at two in the afternoon uh, it's beginning to get really really dark again and well it was only like light from 10 in the morning and then till two in the afternoon or something and then it started again so uh, two or three it depends yeah um, so it will get really, really dark a lot of the hours that are in the day and I have to be on top of my mood and my energy levels to not get a winter depression as well. Um, and I really, really need to get ahead of myself not using too much energy on, on work so that when I'm off my head doesn't make me crazy again and then I will go sick because I don't listen to my body saying stop, take a break. Uh, that's important also for everybody uh, out there. If you listen to this, um, remember uh, when things are good, if you struggle with some mental sickness or mental issues or just some physical sickness maybe as well, if you struggle or something like that remember to listen to your body and if it's when it's good yes yes celebrate that and that is great but don't overdo it overdo it but overdo overdo it because that can be hard as well and then you will just fall back even more than before maybe if you don't cut it up in time before everything crashes again or before everything crashes if you haven't crashed for, but maybe you feel like you are I don't know <clears throat> but this is, this is just something that I've been feeling that I need to be aware of so yeah um, but I'm fine now I need to go to work tomorrow again um, and talking to my boss about everything and how I'm feeling and then just slowly getting on top of everything again and not overdoing it and um, I really really need to try to do that I'm not good at it I'm like a work workaholic you might say because I use work and stuff to do so that I don't have to have thoughts in my head about things I'm thinking overthinking all the time <laughs> um, that's not good so I need to take time off and doing things so that I that are not work so that I don't overthink as well so but all of that I, I have good people around me and my partner really helps me and my partner's family is also good and I have a little father and all of that so I am I am uh, good people around me so all of that is nice I just need to well, listen to my body more and so this is just like a chatty update in my life, how everything is doing. Well, <clears throat> the house updates are going really slow at the moment, just because with everything that's been done, I've been working all summer. We have so many friends and uh, events to go to this summer as well. And we just haven't had enough time to do really anything. And we only like did a few things so that it was more livable here and those updates I have made as well. Um, we still have some mess monsters around here <laughs> in the house um, that we need to sort out. We still need to sort out the office space and uh, well we have done a little bit there but I maybe I will show a video about that at some point um, but nothing officially done and that could be so much more done yet. Um, but there has been like shelving done in there so that we can sort it out a little bit more. Um, but a lot of stuff need, still needs doing and the work with the bathroom has also been like taking a break because um, well Mikkel's uncle also had to have his holidays and all of that. And 
so and well this is also just like a, a temporary place for us um our contract is until February so and then we can make it longer from there but yeah so we really need to find a new place already and um, we have been looking all the time but I really need to put more energy in that as well and more than I already do because it's just working too slow at the moment not really finding anything good that we can afford is actually the biggest hassle it's finding spaces that are well even if we find the space that is like oh this we can afford then it's not economically possible for us to live there due to uh, public traffic not going there or what you call it um what's it called like buses and trains and all that we don't have a driver's license even uh, me both me and Mika we don't have that and we don't have a car as well obviously <laughs> um and we wouldn't have the money to get a car right now as it is even if we had a driver's license so <clears throat> that is also out there that we need to get a place that is also at some point close to public transport um so that I, we can get to friends and get to to work and all of that and get to the supermarkets <laughs> just yeah so that we are not just out in nature totally abandoning ourselves there um or what you can call it locking ourselves up <laughs> somewhere where we can't get anywhere um but then when we then find the space where it's big enough for us and we can be there and all of that then it's just too expensive because well when you need a big space and it should be near public transport or in the city well you get the price just going upwards so that is the hassle we need to find a space that well we are looking outside of town um multiple places and just because we know that we cannot afford it in town um, but or in the city um, but so we're hoping that something might appear soon um, that would be great really um, and what else is happening oh yeah I had my birthday my 25th birthday and it was awesome it was amazing, um, like, uh, wild love. People from my family came, my father, my oldest aunt that I call, my father, my oldest aunt, and well, really, my oldest aunt is like a mother to me, actually. So that was so lovely that they came, and then also my um, youngest uh, uncle, uh, well, <sighs> is he really my youngest uncle? Yeah, maybe he is. Like, it's my birth mom has three brothers, and he is the, the youngest. So, um, and he and his family also came, and it was awesome, awesome, awesome. And some two of my cousins also came, Casper and Tobias. Tobias. Yeah, so that was lovely. And I haven't seen Tobias for like five years or something. It was so crazy, so that was awesome. Um, seeing some family and talking with friends. A lot of our oh, really, really good friends also came and it was just lovely. And we had a party in the garden. And then when it became like more chill outside, we just went inside, played. Uh, Played games, yeah, but it was awesome. It was awesome, um, and so yeah, now and that was in my holiday. I had a week off of holiday, in, and after this long summer, and that's because I had another the first week just before everybody got their holidays, so that was when I actually attended the Copenhagen festival and. Uh, Copenhagen. 
it's golden. Yeah. And that was also awesome. Um, so the summer just went by so fast. It's really, really crazy. Um, so what are the things now? Well, what I've discovered is at the beginning of this video, I told you that I would be getting ready and make this chatty video. I'm not good at doing both. It seems so. I think this will just be like a chatty video, maybe. Um, a little bit of update on how everything is going. Um, yeah, so we still like we did. The, oh, I haven't done a bedroom video yet. How did I not do that? Okay, I need to do that at some point. But as you see right now, I'm sitting in the bedroom. In our amazing bed that we have had for like three years or something. We found it second hand and then we love it very much. Unfortunately, it got like a few hits when you moved. But it's still standing. It is still standing. Nothing, nothing big or anything. <clears throat> but from the old apartment, I can see up at the head, or what you call it, up at that end. Um, it was at the win window uh, in the old apartment, and so it got a lot of sun glitch. So at some point, we need to sand it down a bit and oil it again or something. But that is a project for many years, not not for now, because. Well, we don't have the energy all the time, or the place, or just not now, please. <laughs> um, yeah, but then, but I will be making like a video about this at some point. I still need somehow a place for all my shoes or boots. I still store them on the shoe boxes. <laughs> I posted it on Instagram like, like five months ago or something that I made a shelving case or something out of the shoe boxes. <laughs> so they're just stacked on top of each other and it's actually like almost falling apart at this moment, but it's still there. Um, and we still need like a big closet for all of our clothes because at the old apartment we had a lot of built in cabinets. cabinets uh, and we don't have that here, so we really need a lot of space. And the old cupboards we had um, for our closets, we had they were just too small. Um, before I met Mego, my partner, they were only mine for all of my clothes, and then we split them up whenever Mego moved in. And we just determined that they were too heavy to take with us and too used, and like they are like six years old. And we need something new. We tried to sell them, but didn't have them. So the one we just left there is for some to take at the old apartment. And the other one we use in the utility room. That's actually the other one. Um, but we need like a big, 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 big closet for in here. Like a nice one. And I'm looking, really looking. Um, but it's hard to get, but something, yes. So, um, stuff needs to be, to be doing in here as well. And at some point we would also like some big, 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 what is it called? Curtains for the bed, yes. And I have been, oh, both me and Miguel have been talking to one of our friends, Mede, who has also been joining me in other videos here on the channel. Um, Excuse me if you can hear the uh, bells, it's the church bells, um, sorry for that if it's annoying. Um, but yeah, we've been talking about curtains, so at some point maybe that will be a video as well. Because um, she's like really good at sewing, she's actually had education in it, I, but I forget what it's called in Danish, so I can't even try to translate it uh, but she is so good at it um, so yeah, that is going to be nice so that was a little bit of an update if I then just try to make 
myself a little bit more already. We're going a little walk before dinner in the forest. Like these days time always flies like so fast. So yesterday and weeks before that so I said to myself tomorrow I will be walking in the forest if it's a good day and the sun is out and it's not raining. Well at least if it's just not raining and very windy then I would be going. Um, but I haven't done it yet even though I've told myself that all summer but I've just been too tired and then it's been windy or raining the days when I was not too tired or then I had to like do other stuff, shop, go shopping. That's actually not that often, it's more Miggle. Who does that? Just because I get anxiety when I go shopping. But that's something I can talk more about in another video. Um, but lovely. Miggle. Luckily, Miggle is very lovely to do the shopping. Yeah, sometimes I do it as well, but not all the times. Um, but going to the forest, that was what we were talking about. Um, so today I'm like, okay, I have used all day to get ready to actually go out to the forest because it was the lovely weather and it's still okay, lovely weather. There is more clouds in the sky right now and I'm looking over there because the, the window is there. Um, but I'm just like, okay, so I cleaned the living room, I'm not cleaned, I vacuumed it, I just like put some stuff away that shouldn't be there and washing a little bit of clothes and all of that and yeah just to get work ready for tomorrow as well I had to like wash my work clothes so that I actually had something proper to wear and no this does not look good. Um, so that had to be done and so now all of the time has just like disappeared so now I'm just like okay but I'm still going I won't be losing this opportunity again now I am doing it and then it will just be dinner time afterwards yes <laughs> that's just how it is Whenever I'm looking up there, it's because I have a big mirror, or oh, it's not very big, but it is big, um, and it's like just behind the phone, that is my camera, so um, that's why I was doing that, and what was it, I actually started the video talking about makeup, I think, and then that I have some issues with anxiety and all of that so I haven't really had energy to do makeup was actually my point at the beginning <laughs> sorry guys and sorry everybody else for not saying that before now um, <clears throat> so I don't really have the energy to do it that often um, and whenever I do I only like do mascara and a little bit of what eyeliner on the waterline and then lipstick and I thought I would do some today but now I'm always feeling that I won't anyway I don't know maybe I should just a little bit if I can find my mascara because these are the old ones that doesn't work anymore Right there. So maybe Ooh. I like the smell of some lipsticks. I don't know if anyone gets me, but this one from NYX, it's 
spicy, I think it's cold. It smells good. <laughs> A little bit like candy maybe, but it's still good. And I love using it. Okay. Let's do it. One I have is Black Volume from uh, Nil Nsion. I don't know if it translates maybe to Earth of the Nile or something. Okay, sorry, I have to stand up for this. One way and the other one. Good. It's actually weird seeing me with mascara again because it's it's been a while, a while, I tried to say. And I don't know where my black eyeliner went. It, it went away, let's just say it like that. Um, so I will use this red one. It's not totally wet, red. It's from NYX as well. Copenhagen, I think it's called. I thought it was the red one, but it's not. Maybe I shouldn't do it. I really need to buy a black eyeliner. I miss it so much. I don't feel like myself without it whenever I have <laughs> makeup on. Um, but then me and Mikkel we bought a new black lipstick together just because I'm running low on mine and Mikkel also uses makeup so that's awesome. And I think this is a Sephora one. Sephora, Sephora. No, it's not. No, 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 no. It's Kat Von D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat Van D. This one. And what is it called? Witches. Lovely. And, oh, it's a, like, okay, I haven't tried this one before. I actually wanted to, like, do a split color. Split lips, or what you call it. But I don't know if I can with this one. Or if it's just gonna eat up the color. So I, I'm gonna try. The way I do this is having an accent color on the inside of my lips and then taking the black outside. So I love to just apply like a thick layer because it will have to blend with the black. And then now, oh that's not the lipstick. <laughs> um, I have to be careful when I apply it also because I don't know this one. Um, but not to put the black one too heavily on because it can easily eat up the red color. So I have to be gentle, marking out the lines and then trying slowly like to blend it. See, so. Okay, this is awesome. It's really attacking the red color, so I am happy that I took as much as I could off it when I began. <coughs> it is a little bit aggressive, but it's it's still good on the inside, you can see. Um yeah. So I just did it like that, like without any brushes or anything like that. I don't know my brushes, so <laughs> I just do it like that. And yes, okay, this is too boring. I need the uh, eyeliner. I need to go crazy on this just because it's been for so long time. So I'm gonna use this one for my eyes a little bit. 
So my partner has this one. It's a cheap one from Gush, but it's working. That's better than mine, whether or not, because they are lost. Because <laughs> um, the other one didn't work. I'm gonna try this one. Okay. Nice. Like that. Yes. And then I'm left with dirty fingers. I need to wash my hands now. Um, yeah, so now I am ready for a walk in the forest. Um, well, as you can see now with my black makeup, my hair is not black anymore. <clears throat> I color my hair like one time for like, mm, like every three months I color it black. And I haven't done it since February, just because I haven't had the energy. Um, so it's not black anymore. It's actually like brown with red tones. And I need to color it, just because I cannot recognize myself with this hair color. Um, but at some point I will do that. But if you got all the way here, I thank you so much for listening. And I hope to see you, to see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.